Hi, I'm Charlie from Penn Olsen, and this is the Xiaomi phone, um, and I'm going to do a little review of this today. Uh, and I don't, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I don't want to talk about the specs or any of that stuff um, because that's information that you can get anywhere else, right? But I've had one of these phones for a month, and my wife has also had one of these phones for about a month. Um, and so I've, I've had the opportunity to use it sort of the way that a normal person would use it in life because that's what I'm doing. Uh, we both bought these ourselves. These weren't provided to us by Xiaomi or anything like that. This phone feels faster, smoother, just better to me. It feels like sort of a whole new experience uh, coming from my iPhone, which was just getting really slow and bogged down. Um, now, I'm sure that an iPhone 4S would feel the same way. This costs half the money. So, uh, you know, that's something to consider. Okay, so this is the Xiaomi phone. Uh, this is mine and the screen. Uh, I put a matte finished uh, screen cover on the screen, so it doesn't look quite as crisp as a regular Xiaomi phone would look. Uh, but this is, you can still get the basic idea from this. I just prefer that type of screen cover. Um, so here we have it. As you can see, I've downloaded a bunch of apps, so it's uh, already quite personalized. But um, it's very responsive, right? Moving through uh, these animations and from screen to screen is really quite uh, quick. As you would expect from the stuff that's built in, it performs really well here. I'll load up. This is probably the uh, the highest performance requiring game that I have. Um, so, you know, this has got the, the 3D graphics and all that. And um, as you'll be able to see, even, I even have the sort of extra high quality graphics turned on. So it looks quite good and um, it runs really smoothly. And this is true with, with everything that uh, that I've played so far on this phone. or every, it, Really everything that I've done, is, it's just been very uh, smooth sort of experience now. I'm not really going to be able to control this very well like this, but uh, yeah. So anyway, you can see it looks it looks pretty good. I'm not sure how how well that'll be able to come out with the phone, um, but uh, it looks good, and uh, you know, and it, and it plays very smoothly. Uh, even even something that sort of is this, you know, requires this sort of quality of processing. So uh, that's definitely a good thing. Uh, and as you can see, I've got the high quality graphics turned on there. And uh, you know it still works fine. Um, so as you already know, it's it's pretty uh, customizable in terms of you can choose you know the themes, wallpaper. You can even choose the uh, the animations of the uh, you know swiping from uh, from one page to another here. So I, I prefer this one. My wife actually has a different one on her phone. Um, a couple of little <laughs> nitpicky things like this, um, you know. This looks great if you do it quickly. If you swipe very slowly, you'll start to see there's a lot of aliasing in these, uh, you know, in the animation here. If if you do it slowly, you can see that that there's uh, these jagged edges in the, uh, you know, along the apps. But that's really not important at all. Um, the phone also comes with some other interesting features. When the phone is locked, if you don't want to have to go in and try to fiddle around with it, you can just hold the home button, and the flashlight turns on. Um, and as you can see here. That uh, that turns the flashlight on, so that's really useful. Uh, I just use, you know, I was out in the sort of countryside where uh, the bathroom is outdoors, and at night that's quite was was a really useful feature to have. So that's great. Um, there's lots of little things like that that uh, you run into that are just quite helpful. Um, so we have run into a couple strange things while using the phone, like one example of this uh, here, and you can see there's no English translation for this tool, um, but this is the monitoring of your sort of uh, you know your 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 phone's usage of downloads and things like that. So this only appears in Chinese. Um, there's no English for this, which is sort of frustrating. But it's also pretty clear. It's not that difficult to figure out. You only need to know a few Chinese words to be able to figure out what all this says. I mean, obviously, as long as you know this, you know this is today's uh, 3G usage and then uh, the 3G usage so far this this month and last month, etc. But um, one of the things just uh, that, that I found is that this is a little bit weird in that, uh, for example, one day this the this month's uses jumped like uh, probably 400 megabytes. And, uh, you know, I hadn't, I hadn't used that much 3G that day, so I don't know. It's just been, it's been a little flaky. Um, and the phone is a bit like that in some other ways. For example, my wife and I, we both have Xiaomi phones, although they're slightly different... Um, versions of the the Xiaomi operating system, right, MIUI. 
But uh, we found that in some cases we get different service, you know, like a different type of service. I get 3G and she doesn't, even though we're in the exact same place and we have the exact same phone running at just a slightly different version of the OS, uh, mine being more updated than hers. Right, so my, my real only big complaint about this phone is the camera, um, which I'll just show a couple pictures here to sort of illustrate. So this is one that I took, um, and this is when I was outside uh, for Chinese New Year at my in-laws place. As you can see, it's just really blue, right? The, the white balance is very off. And um, I had it set on auto white balance. Obviously, if I had wanted to, there there is a manual setting, so I could have tweaked it. Um, but at the same time, this is just a regular sort of outdoor scene in the middle of the day. It shouldn't be that difficult for autofocus to figure out. In any situation where there's low light, it starts to get kind of ugly, right? So here's an indoor photo. Um, and the closer in you can we get here, you can see there's there's a, a bit of like color noise right that just really is kind of ugly um i just find the phone just takes ugly photos the, the image is just not good um it's it's decent quality right in terms of uh resolution but in terms of just how the images look it just really isn't that good so that's kind of disappointing you know the camera is really a, a bit of a letdown in that sense um in terms of the mechanical stuff you know that's about it um, one of the great things about this phone coming from the iPhone, which is what I used to have, but this is pretty typical of most Android phones, right, is that you do have a fair amount of customization in terms of what you put inside it. Unlike the iPhone, it can be opened. All right, so yeah, the back the back comes off quite easily. You just snap the back off, and there we have the inside of the phone, right, the battery, the SIM card, and then the SD card here. Um, and unlike an iPhone, so it's very convenient coming from an iPhone because these are all replaceable, right? You can take out the battery and put in another one. You can take out the SD card and put in another one, or mini SD card, rather. Um, and same with the SIM card. So that's quite convenient. Uh, and that's something that I've used already a couple times, just because my wife has the same phone. If my battery's out, I, I can grab hers and just put it in. Um, or, you know, give lend somebody your your, uh, your SIM card or your SD card for a little while if they need to use the Internet or, or you know, download something or whatever. Um, so that's quite nice. Uh, th this back does feel a bit flimsy, um, and the whole phone, I mean, compared to an iPhone, certainly doesn't feel as solid. On the other hand, it's also half the price, so, um, yeah. So we'll clip that back on there, right? It just snaps back on. And then, uh, yeah, so there's the, uh, you can see the side, uh, the little mini USB port right there. Um, Here's the other side with just these two buttons, the volume, and then this is the camera button down here, a little hard to see. But, um, and they're also, they're a little bit flimsy, but they work fine. So here's the top with the, uh, the headphone jack and the button to turn it on and off, which is there. So, you know, there's, there's good things about the phone and there's bad things. Um, the, the battery is, has not been super impressive to me. Uh, at the same time, the camera is really kind of a letdown. I'm just not impressed with the image that comes out of it at all. Um, I may be a bit spoiled when it comes to cameras, but uh, just really, um, uh, you know, I think the images, it just, the images it makes are just really ugly. I don't like them um, compared to other cameras that have the same sort of megapixel count or resolution statistics, stuff like that. Um, that said, you know, is it worth it for the price of, you know, 1999 RMB yes absolutely I think um, you know is it worth considering this versus the iPhone or versus any other sort of more expensive smartphone yes I think absolutely and especially you know if you're looking for a high-powered Android smartphone I think this is actually a, a, a fantastic choice uh, I, I do you know I have some issues with it the camera is not great so if you need a good camera you should get a different phone um, if you need a good camera phone, you should get a different phone or you should just buy a camera. Uh, and the battery has not been fantastic. It, it's a little, it occasionally have had some crashing issues, but really quite rare. Um, for the most part, it's been very stable and very usable and just kind of fun to have and hold and use. So uh, yeah, highly recommend it. Check it out if you can get your hands on it.